Hey y'all, so I am Leslie of Leslie Brooks Beauty and it is Memorial Day. So first of all, I just wanna start by saying thank you to all those men and women who have or are serving as well as their families. I am very, very thankful um, for each and every one of you guys. Um, but in honor of Memorial Day, I want to do something really fun with my makeup and do kind of like a red, white, and blue inspired look. Um, so we're going to do like a blue and silver eye look today. We're going to be using both the Courageous and the Fulfilled palettes. Um, so these are our Luxury Artistry palettes. Um, this one is the Courageous palette. It is full of gorgeous colors um, and it is available. I do have a discount code um, that can get you that for $49 if you are interested. And then we have our Fulfilled palette, which is like our everyday palette. It is stunning. I use it all the time. Um, and she is $89 and worth every penny. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get in to this look. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by leveling our base. So we're just gonna give our entire lid a nice base to start applying our shadows to. So we're gonna use the color Shiro. This is like a female hero. And we are just going to blend that all over our lid. To give ourselves a nice base. Next is ombre the lid, okay? So this, we are gonna use the color bold. So that says matte blue shade and we're just going to take this right here along our brow bone and just really kind of concentrating it on the outside but blending it all along there and we want to blend 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 because we do not want any harsh lines throughout this we just want it to be a beautiful blue look and then we're just going to repeat on the other side again we want that beautiful ombre look right there on our brow bone and again like I said I'm concentrating the deepest of the color right here on the outside and blending it towards the inside You can see how soft this color can blend out, um, but you can also really build it up if you want much deeper pigmentation. That's one of the things that I love about our Courageous palette is the colors are really blendable and they're very pigmented. but you can absolutely tone each and every one of them down. All right, now that we have that beautiful blue, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the color Brave. This is like a really beautiful shimmery blue and we are going to really focus this on the outer V So we're really concentrating that color right there on the outer V of our eye. And I, you can notice I'm using like a smaller dense brush to really pack that color into the area where I want it. And then I'll just soften it up slightly. And again repeat on the other side. So I'm really just packing that color right there into the outer V. This look would be gorgeous for 4th of July too. I'll probably do something different for 4th of July just because probably not going to recreate the exact same makeup look again, but it would absolutely work perfect 
for the 4th of July. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little more into that coloring. Now we're going to go back in with our color Shiro. I'm just using like a quick change. I'm gonna go back in with our color Shiro and just kind of soften up this inner half of my lid. Right there. And now I'm gonna go in with like a more dense brush. I'm gonna switch over to my Fulfill palette and I'm gonna go in with the color Bliss. This is like that bright silver champagne highlight color. It's stunning. And I'm just gonna softly blend that in with the blue while concentrating the majority of it on the inside. And repeat on the other side. So again, I'm concentrating the majority of it towards the inner eye and then blending it softly in with the blue. What do you guys think? All right. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and move down to my lower lash line. I'm going to start off with my Naomi Glam Bam in navy. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my waterline. On both sides. And then I'm also just gonna drag that right along my lash line. just to get a little bit deeper pigmentation. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with like a smaller brush. Sorry. I'm gonna go back to that color Brave, that blue shimmer and blend that along my lower lash line. Look how bold that blue gets by layering it over top of that Naomi's Glam Bam. Look at that. I love it. Now I'm gonna stick with that same brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with Bliss and just finish off that inner corner. Look at that. Isn't it super cute? I love playing around and doing something totally fun and different with my makeup. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Lacey's Brow Light Duo. This is in the pink color and I'm just gonna hit the peak of my brow bone. Just slightly blend that out with my finger. And now for liner, mascara, and lashes, and we will be done. So I'm gonna go in with my Asha's Ink Liner and just do a super quick and easy wing on both sides, throw on some mascara, 
and some lashes and we will be done. So this liner is my favorite ink liner for a wing look. You can get a very precise line. It's also perfect for just like stamping color on there. There we have our wing on that side and now we'll go ahead and do it the other side. That is one thing that I cannot talk and do. All right, wings complete. Now a coat of mascara and pop on some lashes. Oh my goodness, I just realized what would be so cute with this. I had the silver glitter lashes, this would be so cute. So if you guys do not know, our glitter band lashes are on sale for $10 and you get a free mini glue with them right now. And they're so cute. They would be perfect for this. Like the silver ones would be, we have all different colors. Um, and we also have some of our regular lashes that come with the glue right now. But the glitter band lashes, I love because they're just like a little something extra that's often unexpected. Um, so the glitter band lashes are the mist lash and they are amazing, but we are going to use, what are we gonna use? We're gonna use Camille today. I'm going with the Camille lash. Pop glue on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue on the other side as well so that it is ready to go. Because when you're putting lashes on, you want to make sure that your glue is almost dry. You want it to be sticky before you pop them on. If not, they'll slip and slide around. For my tip, you're gonna take a mirror at an angle where you can see up your nose, look down. And start popping it right along your lash line. And voila. Oh, let me fix my inner corner. So simple and easy, but makes such a big difference. It really just completes your lash look. 
entire, I mean, just completes your entire eye look rather. I just need to make sure that inner corner is laid down. Okay. And for the last one. There we have it. So our Memorial Day eye look is complete. If you guys have any questions about anything that I used or any of the techniques, please let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, stay beautiful.